at the end of this lecture, I would hope that we can uh, give you the opportunity to list the potential problems that are associated with managing implants of unknown manufacture, uh, to be able to discuss the techniques for identifying these implants uh, and describe options for dealing with patients that have these problems. Now, I'm a prosthodontist and I work in a referral based practice uh, in Canberra in Australia. Now Canberra is Australia's national capital and as such we have people uh, that come and go overseas with uh, a fair degree of frequency and when they do that they bring back to Canberra much of the dentistry that they've had done over overseas. Now that might be intentionally uh, done overseas uh, in the sense that they've had lived in there for a period of time and we also have our patients that go to overseas countries to have their dentistry done to save money. Now is this a problem? Well it can be and if we can we can sometimes see patients that come back to see us who have had uh, treatment overseas and then they have problems that arise subsequent to their return to where we practice uh, and those problems can be complex to treat and this particular gentleman had travelled to India to have treatment done uh, and uh, I have to say that the bends in the implants are not artifacts of the radiographic projection. Uh, these implants have actually been bent to bring them into a position where they can be used prosthetically. Uh, if we look at the patient's pre-treatment radiograph, we can see that he has some problems, but not problems that are insurmountable uh, by using conventional techniques. He has some missing teeth that could be managed uh, with, with uh, implant supported prostheses, but he's uh, managed for most of his life uh, with removable prostheses. Uh, he went to India on a holiday, 